Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last time I have showed you how to use variables and operate variables. Today I'll introduce more about Python. I'll introduce what is string, how to print string, and how to enter variable to string. They are very useful and easy to learn. Let's go! Today I will cover three topics. First is what is string, second is string printout, and third is how to insert values to a string. String is an array of characters. Array is a series of data in the same type. In this diagram, each cell stores a character. These five characters combined together becomes a string. Please note, we use single quotations to indicate a character. As you can see in this diagram, each letter has single quotations. This means character, or we simply say char. H-E-L-L-O, each is a char, but when put together in an array, it becomes a string. Instead of using a list of chars, programmers invented a good way to define string. We use double quotations to indicate a string. Here comes the beauty of Python again. In Python, you do not need to worry about single quotations or double quotations. Both work to represent a string. So, if you want to print out, I am happy, you can use single quotes to print it out or double quotes to print it out. Even though Python is not as strict as other languages, you still need to make sure the quotations are paired up. For the first example, the first single quotation is not paired up with the ending quotation. For the second example, the ending quotation is missing. So, these two examples will cause syntax errors. Sometimes, it is easier to use single quotes to make it work, such as a sentence with dialogue double quotes. For this case, or see the second example, there are four double quotes. For Python, the second double quote will be considered the ending of the string. So, using double quotes in this case will cause syntax error. However, in some other cases, using double quotes will be easier to make the case work. For example, if the sentence has an apostrophe, using single quotes outside won't work. This is because the second single quote will be considered the ending quote, so it causes syntax error. Using double quotes can save the apostrophe problem. However, if you want to use single quotes, how can you resolve the syntax error? The solution is to add a backslash. After you add a backslash right before the apostrophe, it will resolve the syntax error. With the same idea, backslash can also solve the four double quotes issue. If double quote is insisted to be used as a string, you also need to add a backslash right before the second and third double quote to make it work. What if you want to insert a value from a variable to a string? That means this value is not a fixed number and will change according to the program's running. For example, this n may change based on different situations. Then, how do you add this number variable to the string? To insert a variable value inside a string, you need help from the percent sign. There are a few ways to achieve this. First way, you insert percent %s in the sentence where you want to display the value. When you call print, you need to add percent variable %n after the string. For this example, percent sign variable %n is added after the message. Second way, you move percent sign %n to the end of message string. Please see my highlighted percent %n. When you print, you just print message instead of message percent sign %n. Capital N is the variable name. If more than one variable are inserted to the string, your variable names should be added with parentheses. First way, put percent sign and then parentheses inside the string. Please see my highlighted part. 
The second way is to move percent sign variable name to the print in with parentheses. Please see my highlighted part. If you have learned other languages, you might question whether to use percent sign %d or percent sign %s to format numbers. You are right. In other languages, the numbers should be formatted with percent sign %d. But in Python, both percent sign %d or percent sign %s work for number insertion. Congratulations! You have learned how to insert variable to string and print out string. Are you confident now? I will show you more tutorials on how to write Python programs. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!